Fernando Martinez came to the U.S. from Honduras as a boy before ultimately moving to Bovina. His time there at Bovina High School bookended by tragedies and change. After losing his mother, he no longer had a family until his principal decided to adopt him. KAMR Local 4's Kaylee Green has their story. Fernando always loved sports and got very involved his freshman year at Bovina High School. But then, at just 14 years old, he lost his mother. Everything just went downhill. I just started doing bad in school. I didn't even want to come to school. And I just wanted to quit sports. That's where his principal, Dan Castillo, came in. You know, it started off as someone that was in need, a kid that just needed somebody that was stable in his life. Somebody that he knew was going to be there from one day to the next. They got to know each other little by little. Dan knew he wanted to be Fernando's guardian, but to help him get his citizenship, he decided to adopt him. He finally brought the question, hey, would you like if I adopted you? And I was like, that would be awesome, you know. And after that, we got into sports again, and me and him became even closer. Just me being there for him turned into a father's love for his son. You know, someone that would do anything and sacrifice anything to see his son succeed in anything that he does. And it grew from there. Fernando even added Castillo to his name. Uh, one of my favorite memories is, I was like, hey, I don't know what it takes to be a good son to a dad. He's like, he, we both started laughing and he said, I don't know how to be a dad either, you know? And we both, we're both learning. But his senior year, life dealt Fernando another tough hand. I got hurt, I ruptured my pancreas. I had to go to the hospital in Lubbock and get surgery. I was out for a couple months, and my dad was right next to me, right next to me in the hospital bed every day. His football career was over, but not the rest of his story. You know, hopefully we can add a lot of chapters going forward. Um, so to me, this is just the prologue. Now he's in his freshman year at Amarillo College, and his family is behind him all the way. Dan says his son is a citizen because he's legally adopted him, but they're still working on getting documents. He says that process was lengthened because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Fernando says that he plans to get his degree in business and marketing, and he is working hard to get where he wants to be.